Hello everybody and welcome to my Heirloom Organic Vegetable Garden Series for I think it's the 27th of September. I know I'm not supposed to be filming. Oh, I'm not supposed to be. I'm, I told you that I wasn't going to, but I, I wanted to uh, uh, video uh, my corn harvest. You know, it's just a, a, a more of a personal thing. I just want to have a, a record of this. So I didn't want to, you know, harvest it and not record it. I've been eating off uh, of my corn here the last couple nights and I can't believe the size of the cobs. And I'm actually quite surprised how uh, um, uh, tender it is for how old the corn is because I'm actually way behind on this, but that's why it has to get done today. Now, as far as the zucchini spaghetti squash hybrid thing, it is starting to change color. So they're, they're starting. Now they're dying off. I got to pick them out this week. And I've got to get my tomatoes too. That's another story. But today's corn. And like I said, I'm doing this because it's for, uh, I want to have uh, just a, a personal record of it and I didn't want to, you know, do this and not video it. So you guys are scoring. I'm going to share something that um, uh, I said that I wasn't going to do this week or, uh, you know, dealing with what's going on in my life right now. All right, I'm going to pick all the corn. I'm rambling here. I'm uh, going to go and just do some brain dead uh, corn picking now. I got a lot of corn. I'm actually shocked how much I got. I've picked it all and I broke the plants over to rot into the ground. And now I got to go and uh, shuck this and uh, decide how I'm going to do this. My freezer experiment, I haven't screwed with it. I think I'm just going to cut it off. It's faster just cutting off with a knife here. I'm, I froze a bunch of cobs and I've tried to get the kernels off the cobs and I can't think of a, a mechanical way of getting the, the uh, frozen kernels off the cob. It's really a shame because uh, I, I would love to know how, you know, like Green Giant and all those guys do it, how they get the... Uh, you know the whole kernel off the cob that that has got to be uh, that's a secret somebody should you know a hidden camera and put it on youtube all right well i'm gonna go and start shucking well that's the uh, second wheelbarrow of uh husks that are going to the ducks but considering i think it's about six rows of corn uh <laughs> they're big cobs but i just can't believe how little you get that's it i got four buckets so i've got to cut it off the cobs and uh i don't uh, maybe maybe 20 pounds maybe 25 i got a hunch like 20 pounds of corn not a lot I thought I'd give these tools that I bought another chance. This thing, it's this corn cutter, is absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. It's just frustrating as hell. This thing uh, destroys the corn. It, you, you hold it and you, you use a drill to push it through and it basically turns into cream corn. This only works with really small kernels and leaves a bunch on the end of the cob. I've got one pail done, it's empty now. And I've got one uh, roasting pan full of uh, corn. And what I end up using this time, I usually use uh, this butcher knife, which works pretty good. But some told me to try a bread knife, and it seems to cut a little better. Now, my um, my farmer buddy, he was telling me that uh, when he was a young lad, he used to use an electric knife, which I don't have one, but he said that would uh, that's what they used, and it cleaned up the cobs pretty good. And that's what the cobs look like after a bread knife. So it's not bad. I'm going to bag that up, and then attack these next three pails. Well, my estimate was completely off. 49 and a quarter pounds of uh, finished corn in a bag. That's pretty good, actually. Twice as much as I thought I had. So I've definitely got enough corn for a year. Well, actually about 15 months with the rest of my vegetables. So not a bad haul.